This is Javier Encinas, and today I'm going to show you ASDIP Steel 4, the new version of our software for structural design of uh, steel members and components. When you open ASDIP Steel, the project manager shows up where you can create and manage your electronic calculations for your project. This new version includes four modules, uh, base plate and anchorage design, steel column design, steel or composite beams, and uh, the new module in this version, shear connection design. Let's get started with uh, uh, base plate and anchorage design. When you, you create a calculation, you just click on uh, uh, the button, uh, assign a name for your calculation. The calculation is added to the tree. Double click on the calculation that you just created. And this is the uh, base plate and anchorage design module. Here you have two panes. The left pane is dedicated to the uh, input data. Uh, it's a tabbed uh, screen. The right pane includes, uh, shows the uh, calculations in different versions and also the graphic uh, view. Uh, for example, here in the input, you can uh, specify all the geometry for your uh, base plate and the uh, uh, support uh, uh, width and, and, uh, and, and length. And you can uh, 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 specify the section that you are interested in, the, the, the column. Uh, to do that, you use the built-in uh, AISC section database included in the software. Uh, the materials uh, tab includes uh, uh, anchor rods information and concrete and, 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 and steel base plate. Uh, the base plate can be designed uh, per the budget uh, philosophy, enforcing the strength compatibility, or uh, ignoring the strength compatibility, which is the AISC design guides number one philosophy. Uh, in this version, seismic provisions for uh, a ACI and AISC are included in this in this version just uh, check this check mark and check mark this uh, this uh, option here and the seismic provisions are included showing the parameters you can specify SDS and, and omega zero over strength factors and then the philosophy of the design which is included in ACI uh, uh, chapter 17, uh, options A and D for, for this option, or option B for, for, for this option. The loads can be a set of load uh, cases that uh, are internally combined per the assets 7, 05, or 10, which are shown here, combinations there or can be just a single set of pre-combined loads. In this case, you just enter the numbers uh, that are applied to, to, the, to the column. The software designed the anchor rods in shear and tension uh, per the ACI uh, with multiple options to model uh, the uh, anchor reinforcement or supplementary reinforcement in both in tension and in shear. In shear, there are several options to, to resist the, the shear in, in, uh, on the base plate. Uh, and also you can, mo you can uh, model uh, anchor reinforcement as well. The results are presented in several ways. At a glance, shows a summary with the most important information. Condense shows a more specific information, more detailed information, uh, uh, but also just the most important information that you can uh, just check. If you need a more detail, you go to the next tab, detailed information, and here you have all the formulas exposed, step-by-step -step calculations, and uh, code references. Graphically, the program shows the base plate with the uh, pressures and uh, tension on the road and rods. Uh, if it's uh, load load cases, then it's, it's, it's shown per, per load combination. So you can see everything uh, at a glance very quickly. The controlling combination. 
The program also calculates the breakout areas in both tension and shear. That can be very useful. The report is generated very easily high quality report like that you can see the, all the pages and this is the base plate design uh, let's go to the next module column design let's assign a name the calculation is added to the tree double click this is the column design uh, module Again, you can uh, specify here all the ge geometry and uh, the section as we did before from the uh, AISC sections database. In the stability tabs, you assign different different options. Uh, this is uh, the way is calculated, either the design, the direct analysis method or the effective length method. If it's the effective length method, then uh, you specify uh, the K factors in X, X and Y. Uh, if the column is sway or non-sway for the stability and the way the second uh, order moments are calculated if it's a second order elastic analysis then you, you don't need to magnify the moments anymore uh, if it's a if, if, if you know if the, if the moments that you specify in the loads are the first order elastic analysis then probably need need to be amplified in that in that case you know, it are calculated like that internally. Finally, the uh, seismic provisions are also included in this version. Just check here and uh, the parameters uh, are shown there just to include the seismic provisions. In the loads, again, you can specify either a set of load cases to be combined internally or just a set of pre-combined loads for example, in this case, it's, it's pre-combined, just the moments directly, or a set of load cases that can be can be uh, combined internally. The program can design uh, the column per the ASD or the LRFT. In the results, similar to the previous uh, module, you can see here a summary of the results or a condensed view. With all the, you know, you see all uh, the limit states, and bending and uh, compression, and you, you can see what what is controlling, and, and so on, or a detailed uh, uh, version of the results with all the formulas exposed here, where the where the moments are amplified. And all the formulas exposed with a reference to the, to the code. The report, either the detail or the condensed report. Let's see the detailed report, for example. Let's see all those. You see? This detail report. You know, nicely formatted with high quality. Let's go back to the next uh, module. This is uh, for uh, steel and, and composite beams. Double click. This is the beam design module. Similar to the previous module, you can here specify the steel beam uh, sections and properties from the uh, database. You can uh, you know, just select the beam that you are interested in. Uh, specify the properties, the uh, FY and uh, modulus of elasticity, uh, the span, and the program supports two cantilevers. And you can specify here the lateral bracing. For example, here the beam is braced at the 10 feet. You can see the brace here. You, you can add one more brace if you wish, say at 15 feet, the top, the top, the top flange. And uh, you know the bracing is uh, shown graphically there. In the slab and, and the deck uh, tab, in the previous version, 
this was only available if uh, you had a composite beam. In this new version, you can specify the, the, the slab and, and, and the deck, even if the beam is not composite. Composite, you can select here. This is non-composite. And this is composite, where you can specify uh, the studs and uh, the temporary shoring uh, and all that. The beam can be interior or can be an edge. Uh, beam and the program internally calculates the the area in the load stack uh, you can specify as before either a, a set of uh, load cases to be combined or a pre-combined set of loads and the program internally calculates uh, accordingly typical loads includes uniform loads uh, concentrated loads and, the, and this version includes also the end moments the supports can be also either pin or, or, or fixed for example let's fix this support and you can see the corresponding moments negative at the support the design criteria you can specify here all the deflection uh, limitations for non-composite or composite beams, cantilevers, the camber uh, criteria, and the studs. The program uses the design manager. You specify the limits, depth, minimum and maximum, and uh, if you find sections, the program finds all the sections that uh, meets the design criteria with the ratio for example if i decide to use this one i just select it and that was selected there and uh, you know the program calculates internally all the ratios in the contents uh, tab you can see a selection of the most important information of the results in the detail you can see uh, exposed formulas with the reference to the code and step-by-step -step calculations for, for your information. Graphically, the program generates the shear and bending uh, moment diagram per segment and per load combination. If you see the contents report, you can see that it's formatted. nicely let's go to the next uh, module this is a new module in uh, version 4 that includes uh, uh, different types of uh, shear connection single angle like that single angle double angle shear plate or a T, a T connection. In the geometry tab, you can specify the support that can be a column flange or a column web. Let's see the graph to, to, to see what, what's, how it's changing. Column flange, like that, the support, or a column web connecting there, or a beam web, like that. The beam, can also be uh, coked at the top flange and the bottom bottom flange. You can specify the sections again using the steel section database. The angles, the connector, can be bolted or welded to the support and to the beam, and the program internally changes accordingly. Bolted or welded, you know welded bolded or bolted welded and you can specify the angle thickness and eccentricity as well this eccentricity the anchor rods the number and the weld in the materials tab you specify uh, the properties uh, for the support for the beam for the connector and for the bolts and welds 
In the loads tab, you can specify a set of load cases to be combined internally or just a single set of pre-combined loads. If it's load combinations, then you, you use either the uh, as a 710 or as a 705. Depends on your project. At a glance, shows a summary of the results with the connection strength using the you know per each applicable uh, limit state and also the combined loads per load combination and the program checks which combination fails which which combination fails what limit state fails what limit state passes performs the checks uh, the design checks per uh, per, the, per the code and it gives you a report or uh, a call that something is wrong uh, as in this case the condensed tab shows a selection of the most important information here and the detail tab that shows you know completely exposed formulas and 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 step-by-step -step calculations that you can follow with calls and with uh, uh, checks of uh, every single step. Graphically, the program generates front view, side view, top view of the design connection with the design summary here. Graphically, the design criteria you can either neglect or accept the eccentricity uh, at the support and the beam and you know for the connections for the connector and for 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 the support and for the beam let's see the report it's, an, it's a nice uh, preformatted report Okay, this is uh, the new version of uh, As Deep Steel. Hope you like it. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.